All right, I'm very excited for this one. We got a collab EP from Baby Rose and Bad Bad Not Good. So I'm gonna be honest, I only really got put on to Baby Rose last year when she dropped her album Through and Through. And um, that album, one of my favorite R&B albums of the year, um, I was sleeping on Baby Rose for a long time. And her voice is just so unique, stands out, her production, is amazing and that and that album through and through is still in my rotation still i listened to it the other day i do plan on doing my due diligence and checking out her older music because i'm sure it's just as fire just as great as her album that she put out last year so i i, I am excited to listen to her old stuff as well and now i've been a fan of bad bad not good since they came out and i was it 20 15 or 2014 i'm not too sure or or it could have been earlier than that but what a great trio and the album that they have with uh ghostface come on i'm a big fan of you know jazz i played in a jazz band in high school which really got me into you know really got me into it but when it comes to bad bad not good amazing trio love them I, I do hope they uh release more music they release they don't release too often nowadays um, they have like maybe singles or production credits here and there, but they don't really release that often. I think their last album was 2021, if I'm not mistaken, with Talk Memory. So I am hoping that Bad Bad Not Good releases um, some new music um, this year. So let's hope for that. But I want to get into this Baby Rose EP called Slow Burn. I'm sure it's going to be great. I, I, like I can't stress enough how much I love Baby Rose's voice. You know, it's just standalone. It's so unique. I love it. Anyway, let's get into it. We got track number one, On My Mind. That organ. Oh, Lord. love this i'm gonna love this this is such a perfect pairing you know with bad bad not good you know just a live instrumentation with someone like a baby rose where her voice is very jazzy it's very you know it's meant for it's like they're meant for each other in a way um like i'm just picturing her in like a jazz club on stage um it sounds like it, it was recorded like that like live like in a room you could kind of hear it love that first try i would have never even thought of pairing baby rose with bad bad not good and now hearing that first track it almost seems like this was like long overdue all right let's keep it going we got track number two the title track slow burn No flames to show me 
that Girl, breakdown. That base. just reminds me of like a, a modern day Nina Simone in a way where her voice is just deep and beautiful and it's just it just complements the production around it you know what I mean very jazzy too I love that track slow burn great title track song uh, let's keep it going we got track number three Caroline featuring Mariba I haven't heard from Mariba in a while I think I've been sleeping on Mariba I think the last uh, thing I've heard from Mariba was uh, Black Truck, but now that I'm checking Spotify, her last album was 2019, so she hasn't dropped in a while. Shout out to Mariba, though. Caroline, I know I left so soon without goodbye. Give us a flute solo. Favorite song on the on the EP, Caroline. Wow! Shout out to first of all, shout out to Bad Bad Not Good on the production. It's immaculate. The flutes, everything about it. The flutes, the organs that they had in the previous song, the acoustic guitar, the drumming. 
you know, the bass, everything about it has been top notch. I'm so glad they released this. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm so glad they released this. Like, I'm such a big fan of Baby Rose. I don't even know if I would classify Baby Rose as R&B, I guess. Maybe alternative R&B. But she has become one of my favorite, you know, I'll say alternative artists, you know, within the last year. Just from listening to her last album and this EP, I need to go revisit her old stuff. She's just amazing. All right, let's keep it going. We got track number four, Weakness. voice just like it could, it could give you goosebumps that's just how good it is like her vibrato is so unique you know there's like so certain moments where you know she she's singing and you can like actually really feel and hear the emotion behind her voice it's so it's like beautiful i would love to see her live i actually would love to see bad bad not good and uh baby rose actually go on tour okay let's keep it going we got track number five it's all right I'm gonna like this one already. Shadows 
fire. Love the drumming. Oh. Oh, man. Uh, I could listen to her all day. We're going to keep it going because we got one more track and then I'll give my final thoughts. But we got track number six, One Last Dance. I wish there was like five more tracks at least. so hard but I can't forget you and I know that things have changed didn't think I'd see you again be alright if you never see me again but for just sweet it was like a treat obviously i wish we had a whole album between um baby rose and bad bad naga because like i said they complement each other so well you know the jazziness about both artists first of all shout out to bad bad not good every instrumental everything they did on this ep was great they really showed out honestly and baby rose like I can't stress enough how much I love Baby Rose now. One thing one thing about me is I love unique voices. Voices that can't be replicated, you know? Voices that stand out from other um, artists, you know what I'm saying? Um, and Baby Rose is really just that. You know Baby Rose's voice. I guess a, a good thing about this being so short is that uh, you could run us back 
so many times. You know, it's 23 minutes at least. It's an EP, but it's 23 minutes. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, I, I loved every single song on here. I think my favorite song was Caroline. Um, but everything's so good that can probably change on second listen. You know what I mean? But I'm so glad I listened to this. Um, I love Baby Rose. I love Bad, Bad, Not Good. I do hope Bad, Bad, Not Good drops a full-length album this year. I feel like they're overdue. But such a great EP, and I absolutely loved it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will catch you next time.